Hey guys, welcome back. Look at this. Disgusting, right? Nintendo tried to make these systems last as long as they could, but it seems they've given up because the Nintendo 2DS XL is the only one being sold currently, meaning that the 3DS, 3DS XL, and the normal size 2DS have all been discontinued. This whole family of products was really amazing, but what confused me the most was why did Nintendo release the 2DS and 2DS XL? What led to it standing supreme as Nintendo's only handheld besides the Switch still being sold? The 2DS, the only product in the 3DS line of systems still being sold. If we want to learn the history of this console, we need to go back to the year 2010. On June 15, 2010, the 3DS was formally unveiled to the public during E3 and then would then release on February 26, 2011 in Japan. March 25th, 2011 for Europe, and March 27th, 2011 for North America, with a price of $250 here in North America. Nintendo announced a significant price reduction to $170 when it wasn't reaching the sales they were looking for. That price reduction could have influenced prices for future handhelds, for example, the 2DS. Fast forward two years to August 2013 when the Nintendo 2DS was revealed and given an October 12th release date for that year. The flat design of the hand held seemed uncomfortable or too big to hold with both hands, but Nintendo had, really had a really interesting reason for its existence. They claimed that the 2DS really focused on that entry-level gamer. The 4, 5, 6 year old that is just getting into gaming but wants to play Mario Kart, wants to have a Super Mario Bros experience, wants to play Pokemon, and we feel with the Nintendo 3DS XL at $199, it's a fully featured product. That is, if you will, the Cadillac of handheld gaming. And then we heard from consumers, boy I wish there were something in between. Its original price was $129.99 and its price dropped to $79.99 in 2016 and was placed as a budget handheld for non-gamers. From all my research, I really couldn't find any information on any 2DS leaks or rumors. It really seems no one was expecting this. I found one Reddit post, but both of the links they provided were invalid, so... I don't know. After it released, it got pretty good reviews from big websites like The Verge and CNET. Less than four months after its release, it was revealed that the 2DS had already sold 2.1 million units, which was great for Nintendo. If I'm doing my math correctly, Nintendo made $272,979,000 off of it. That's not including the cost to make it, but it's how much they made from the total. But they still made a lot of money. Jump forward to late April 2017 when Nintendo announced the new 2DS XL for a July 28th release date for the US. Now I can't find the exact sales number for these systems, but we can tell that it sold well for them to still be selling it. The Nintendo 2DS and Nintendo 2DS XL have proven to be a weird addition to the 3DS family of products, but it's the definitive version for a lot of people. For me, I would choose the 2DS XL over any other model. And it's the one I'd recommend because it's cheaper than a 3DS. Especially since they were discontinued. And it's thinner. And it looks better in my opinion. So, that's it. I hope this information is useful to you one day. Oh well. Goodbye.